Hi, my name is Mason. Welcome to my channel, Bread and Babies. Today I'll be teaching you how to make easy dishwasher and toilet cleaning pods with only four simple ingredients. You probably have a lot of these ingredients laying around your house, and if not, they're relatively inexpensive to pick up from the store. As you know, dishwasher pods can be pretty expensive, so I'm going to teach you how to make a cheap alternative with more than one use. To get started, you will need baking soda, citric acid, liquid castile soap, and some essential oils. All right, let's get started. Your first step will be to measure out one cup of baking soda and to put it into a glass bowl. I like to buy the big 12 pound bag of baking soda because I go through it so quickly with different DIY projects and cooking. Sometimes I've noticed, especially with a big bag of baking soda, it gets a little bit clumpy. So take a wooden spoon and just beat the clumps out if you notice any clumps in there. Next, you'll add one quarter cup of citric acid to the mixing bowl. Stir this until it's well combined. Once you have these combined, you add one and a half tablespoons of castile soap to the mixture, and this will make it get a little bit bubbly. I use the unscented Dr. Bronner's castile soap. Make sure that you grab one that does not have any scent to it. After you've mixed in your castile soap, you're going to add essential oils in. I like to use citrus essential oils, especially lemon, because it helps get your dishes nice and shiny. I add in 15 drops of lemon and about 10 drops of another citrus oil. Today I'll be using grapefruit. And then stir this until well combined. Your consistency should look like wet sand when you're finished. When your consistency is like that of wet sand, take your hand and compact the mixture into the bottom of your mixing bowl and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. It will likely rise a little bit during that time and that's totally fine. My little one. Just woke up from her nap to join the fun. So now that it's been about 15 minutes, we are going to pack these into silicone molds. I like to use these honeycomb silicone molds from Amazon. I find that they are small enough to fit into the soap compartment on my dishwasher. This part can get a little bit messy. I like to put parchment paper underneath of my molds. So what you're going to do is use your spoon or your hands to put this mixture into your molds. And you're just really going to pack it down. And sometimes, sometimes the mixture will rise a little bit in your molds. If you notice it rising, just keep pressing it down until all of your molds are filled. Okay, now that I have this mold filled, I'm going to leave it to dry overnight. I always put a piece of parchment paper over my mold and a cookie sheet with something heavy on it so that it can't rise out of the mold. Okay. 
Now that you have this weighted down, let it dry overnight. And in the morning, you can take your pods out of the molds and start using them. I hope you enjoy them.